In this getting started with VDI in a Box video, we will show you how to prepare and publish a golden image from a draft in VDI in a Box. In the previous videos of the series, we imported the VDI Manager Virtual Appliance to our off-the-shelf server running our choice of hypervisor. We then imported a Windows 7 golden image, installed the desktop agent to allow HDX connections to the desktop, and edited our image to install applications and patches. The VDI in a Box image management cycle works like this. We first import a virtual machine from an ISO image into VDI in a Box, and once we bring it in, we need to prepare it to publish it as a golden image. First we install the VDI in a Box desktop agent. Then we edit the image and apply any patches or additional applications we want to it. Then we sysprep it, test it, and save it as a published image. To prepare a draft image, we utilize the Microsoft sysprep process. And once we finish the sysprep, VDI in a Box automatically creates a disposable copy of that image for testing purposes. We will show you in this video how to sysprep an image, how to test it, and how to save it as a golden image. When we save a golden image, VDI in a Box automatically propagates that image as needed across the grid of servers, so we can always manage the grid as if it were one entity. In the VDI in a Box administration console, we are going to click on the Images tab. We will see that the image is now ready for the sysprep process. Clicking on the Edit button takes us into the Image Management Wizard that will guide us through the image setup process. We will see that it is currently in a prepare stage, and we will be asked to enter the information that VDI in a Box will need to generate desktops based on this golden image. First, we can specify a domain for these desktops to join. Second, we need to provide credentials for an administrator who has rights to add and remove computers from this domain. You may configure the desktop time zone and a custom computer name prefix. In this example, we will set the prefix as VDI. Now that we have set these options, we can click the Prepare button to begin the prepare process. This launches the Microsoft SysPrep utility, and it may take some time. While it is running, we can close this wizard, and we are free to move around the web interface and perform other functions. We can always check the process of the SysPrep through the taskbar at the bottom of the screen. Once the test LED begins flashing, it indicates that the prepare stage has finished, and it is now creating a disposable draft image for testing purposes. The test LED is now solid green, letting us know that we are ready to test the image. We can click the edit button to open the wizard again at any time. We see that the wizard is now at the test stage. We can connect to this desktop both from HDX and RDP. Click next when you have completed testing. On this section VDI in a box is saving the desktop image. Any changes made in the test phase will not be saved as this was only a temporary copy. The image will be saved in the exact state that it was prepared in. Clicking Save begins the save process. This is a two-step operation. First, VDI in a Box will publish the golden image, and second, VDI in a Box will automatically distribute this image as required to any other servers in our grid, providing the ability for load balancing and high availability. We can close the wizard during this step as well, allowing the LED and the status at the bottom of the screen to keep us updated with the status of the operation. When the save is complete, we can see that VDI in a Box has moved to a distributing state. VDI in a Box has determined what servers require an update to their published images, and will automatically provide the updated image to these servers. If we click on the Servers tab, we can see the servers in our grid, and we can see which servers have the updated image by clicking here. Once distributing has completed, all servers in the grid have the up-to-date golden image, and each server in the grid is capable of creating the linked clone images from our golden image. In this video we have shown you how to prepare, test, and save your Windows 7 draft image to finalize your golden image. The next video in the Getting Started with VDI in a Box series, titled Generating Desktops from Templates, will show you how to begin creating linked clones from your golden image. If you would like to try this for yourself, you can download a free trial at Citrix.com by clicking Products and VDI in a Box. For more instructions, please see the Getting Started with VDI in a Box series of videos on CitrixTV.com or see our documentation at support.citrix.com slash VDI in a Box. Thank you for watching.